Hey, how's it going? So it's been a, quite a while since I've actually done a video update, um, but I've been really, really super busy with work and uh, also been kind of busy with the NXT stuff. So I thought, well, what the hell, I'll do a video on that because I haven't, I haven't done anything on the, uh, the NXT for a while. Um, so as well as for the BBS HD and other motors, it also has to run for the Sir Ron. And we were finding that the, uh, the GoPro peg version, it's not really that strong for that kind of riding. So looking at doing uh, a different version and actually advancing the dock idea that I had quite a while ago uh, and seeing if I uh, can do a version for that. So initially I made, I made this version here um, with the bolt holes in the corner and I thought it could be, people could you know use it to mount it onto a, a plate or something. Um, and that kind of developed a bit into this one here and that fits into a dock here. So I'll show you how that fits onto the bike. So I have the mount here on the bike and it's actually held on with just uh, two zip ties. So one here and one here. And they just go around either side of the bar stem. And then the case itself locks in here snaps in um, and it's pretty solid like you can you can actually turn it um, not that you would want to steer with the case but you can see what I mean it's not going anywhere and with road noise and vibration uh, it's definitely much more solid than the GoPro packs so definitely going to be making this case available for people um, you can do it with a range of different colors a range of different materials and uh, I would actually quite like to try it in aluminum, so I'm figuring out how to convert this into a CNC machinable piece, and then this front part could be a nice, nice shiny aluminum there. So I'm back outside because it's, it's ridiculously hot here at the moment, we're up to 36 degrees I think. Um, but yeah, um, what I'd like to do now is to use a different kind of plug for the connection because this six pin or five pin high go i mean they're very good they're waterproof but if you take them you know and unplug them again and again and again you can wear them out and run into uh, water ingress problems and things like that you know the famous 30h error or what it was on the uh, the bbs hd um anyway i digress but the point being that this essentially um becomes uh, a key and that's always what I've wanted is that if you took this with you um, then you effectively disable the bike. Uh, in terms of the, the software on the NXT it's actually been undergoing some major major revisions of late and uh, it's looking like it's going to be a lot more stable. Uh, Alan's been working crazy amounts of hour on the uh, on the latest update and I'm not going to go into it too much I'll, I'll let him do that but um, essentially what has happened now is that this screen here and the rest is, is running the whole show. So nothing will ever get flashed to your back, which is a good thing because, I mean, flashing firmware and then the power cycling, anything like that, you can end up bricking these. So the less that it's flashed to, the better, really. So all the commands, all of the information, all of the power settings, the amps, the different rider profiles, the speed limits, right? Basically how you use this, battery settings, everything is just stored in here and it pushes out every time you use it, the settings that you need to the back, which then does everything with the motor. So, you know, if you have a problem, you just push the reset on this and you're back to the defaults that you had when you first set it up. So, if people have questions on the NXT, uh, you're welcome to go on my Discord channel, and there's lots of people on there that are putting them on their bikes, that are using them. Um, it's progressing, uh, <laughs> a few setbacks on the way, but uh, yeah, we're definitely moving forward, and uh, yeah, it's looking good. Cheers.